Hello everyone, my name is Sixter and I've returned to Inscription. Now you know from my previous videos on Inscription, I have been really frustrated with this game. It's literally dawning me down, I, I'm on the brick of actually giving up. But, I actually learnt on stream, I've been playing it on stream by the way, go check out my Twitch. That every time I die, I actually get a little help from this game that it's basically giving me some stuff that actually is useful to me and if you don't know what i mean so earlier or in another video i found a squirrel or mammal head for a woodcarver in this drawer i believe and you can see here that i'm using it right now in the stream i've uncovered some cool abilities for that squirrel head thing for the woodcarver of course and well first i'm gonna put a little backstory, I'll put some clips out as well. I first got the totem of bones. So every time when a squirrel dies or I sacrifice it, I get bone right, like extra bones for it. What's this one? Hold on. When the car bearing the soldier dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. <gasps> oh my god, that would be so good. When the car bearing the soldier dies. That is so good. If you play the squirrel. And it, it gives more bones. If you put it in its place as a defense, then you get more bones. That is so good. Should I do that though? But I don't, I still, I don't have anything that's for these. So I'm going to go with this. And yeah, I'm going to play that. And I thought that was sick. That was like, this is so good for the game. I'm like getting extra bones. But then I realized I don't actually have a lot of cards that has bones. Therefore, I died. Okay. Um, come here, bones. Ah. Oh! Hurts. Why can't that be more? They made the right choice. No, I didn't. Mm. No. 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 Are you kidding me? That stings. Oh, why do you have to be there? Can you be in the next one, please? Please, 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 Mantis God. God. I hate this. I hate it. I hate this. PP. <laughs> I, I hate this. I really do. So that's when I got annoyed because I had some good stuff, but I played again. But this time, it kept the squirrel head for the woodcarver. And I got something even better. It is the sigil for unkillable. And what unkillable is, is that whenever a squirrel, say it's a squirrel because it is a squirrel, dies on the board, or if I sacrifice it, it gets straight back to my hand. And then I have infinite squirrels. For some reason, like, everything beside this man here is helping me with something. Oh, I still have that. Oh, I get to keep that, okay. That's kind of nice. If I get the same thing, uh, new. Oh, wait, unkillable though. That will go straight back to my deck. Even if it perishes or sacrifice, right? Okay, I I'll pick that. Yeah, okay, that's, that's interesting. I'll take that. I don't know if that's better than the bones one, but maybe it'll be. Yeah, it gets back to my deck. Bad play. Stop telling me it's bad play. I have infinite squirrels now. Oh wait, well, I, I chose right, or maybe I just got lucky. I get back to my deck. I have infinite squirrels now. That is the most OP thing ever I've seen. Infinite squirrels is the key of winning this game, and it's literally like giving me the hand because it knows I keep dying. So this is my deck so far, and I've uh, uncovered all of this on my stream from top. Oh yeah, and also you probably wondered this is a new map as well. So I I went through all the three maps and defeated the third boss this time. And yeah, it was pretty simple actually. I just it, it even it took me just like a couple of hands to actually defeat the boss. So that's why Infinite Squirrels is the best this game. So. Right here, I got a Wolf of Air Defense, Stink Bug, which will actually be really useful in the next boss. The Stoat. So every time when he gets sacrificed, I get extra blood. I only picked him because he's not really that powerful. He's just 
you know, only does one damage and that, that's it. I'm just going to use him as like, as like another, if I didn't have a score on the board, I would sacrifice him for a better card, I guess. Bloodhound. I don't know why I have him. I just have him in my deck. Raven Egg. Really good when, whenever you play the Raven Egg, it then gets to two damage and I think it was three health. Maybe it stays the same, but he's really good. Ant Queen, really cool actually, because once you play the Ant Queen, it gives you an ant in your hand. And then you can play the ant, and then it does like so many damage. And every time you put more ants on the board, the more damage each ant can do, I guess. Mantis God is the OP. Three damage with the three health, and it has the three attack as well with light. So every time, it can go over obstacles, it can go over anything, unless it's got air defense. And uh, this, I can't remember what it's called, Waterbone, so... Yeah, every time it's the opponent's turn, it can like go underwater, and it won't be attacked, I guess. The Great White, so this does major damage, only has three bloods for its cost. It can attack in two places, so that's... If I, actually, just... If I start with a scroll, which I always do, I will get, and if I get the Mantis God or the Great White, it's basically like an instant win, I think. I mean, if the Great White, sorry, if I didn't get the Great White with three blood, then, I mean, the Mantis God would come in clutch. Now the Pack Rat, I only got this because I had so many items. Magpie, so this is interesting. It has the Touch of Death Sigil. Now, Anything that this magpie touches, it will instantly die. So this will be really useful, even with flight. I got another one with the adder, so he's ground touch of death. So that'll be really useful. Amalgam? I, 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 he's interesting because he does three damage and three health, of course. But he, he's basically known to be every species. So he, he can actually, he's also got the unkillable totem for the woodcarver. So he's really good. Coyote, I only have him because I need more bones cards. River Snapper, oh my god. I remember, so my plan was is actually get two of these. And of course you see it's cut in the middle. It's because I got from the, I don't know what it was called. This thing, where it scissors, the, the mushroom thing. And basically I got him so he can have so much health. And he can do double attack. So that's really good. I got another adder only because I want to actually combine these two and basically, you know, do double damage and double health. Now the Mole Man, I only have him for his sigils, so then I can get merging with someone else. So yeah, that's the reason I got Mole Man. So that's every card in my deck. So yeah, and I also got this knife thing. I got that from here. I, I put this little wolf statue there. They gave me the knife of, uh, I've been told what this does. I don't really know what it's called, but apparently like the toothpick thing, this basically lets you stab your eye so you can get more pelts to win. I haven't used it yet, but yeah, that's that's in my items so far. And yeah, I think I've uncovered everything. I don't know what this candle does. I've been told it might give you an extra life. Maybe, so I'm not going to use it yet. And yeah, I, got, I still got the goo here. How are you doing? Now this. Oh, yeah, I forgot that he, he talks about this. Now, I don't have the Corpse Maggots yet. I've been trying to actually get that card, but I haven't got it. But apparently, if you play this in the game, it will unlock something. Hopefully, I can actually do this soon. Whatever this is, I don't really know. Yeah, I haven't done this yet, so I'll find out what that does. But yeah, so the point of this video is actually to get to the next boss. So let's do this. Oh, your eyes are fixed, key. Your eyes are fixed themselves on the small cabin. It's warm light a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marks the end of your travails. Ooh. Oh. Apparently not. Where am I? Am I this uh, little sculpture? <gasps> I am. Oh my god. Oh, it gets freakier. Can I? Oh god, oh my god. That just scared me. Oh my god. 
What's happening? Steps away from the strange cavern, you are presented with an opportunity. Okay, I don't offer my boons just to just any traveller. If you are able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. Okay, so I need to actually focus on this. The child of the fin, the three drawn cards must include a card with the waterbone sigil. Ah, I think I only have one of those. Okay. The trial of the wings, the three drawn cards must include a card with the airborne sigil, so I might get a chance with that. The trial of skins, the three drawn cards must include a pelt card. I don't have any pelts. That's actually bad. I So in the game, I didn't get any pelts at all. Oh, this is tough. Okay, I must choose airborne then. That's my only likely winning hand. <gasps> oh my god. 11 o'clock. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need to get back to the clock. Okay, I need to remember that. 11. That is my number. 11. Okay, let's pick this. Let the trial of the winged begin. Oh no. Oh no. Um, ah, Mantis got is a card with the airborne sigil. Wait, did he say I must have at least one? I didn't, I didn't read it right. Success! Oh, thank god. Okay. <laughs> Aren't you one of my most powerful boons? Okay, cards that dramatically alter the game and you don't even need to draw them. Okay, the boon of the forest. You will start a battle with grand furs on all of your spaces. Don't know what that means, okay. The boon of the appetitious I don't know how to say that. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. So that's that's true. Boon of the goat's blood. You will start a battle with a black goat on the board. Oh. Wait. Oh, I can't read it again. Ah, okay. So. What's better? What's better? I'm not really itching for the forest thing. I don't really know what it means by the. Ooh, ah, oh, I don't know. Second hands. Or a black goat. I think I'm gonna go for the black goat. It makes sense because he does... He does, like, sacrifice really well. Was this second hand? Oh, God. I don't know. I don't know. It would be better if I was on my stream because then people would tell me. Maybe second hand isn't really that good. I'm just thinking. Okay, maybe second hand is good because then when you see his cards, you can then try and actually find a way to actually beat those cards and get more pelts at the same time. Okay. I'm gonna go with it. We will repeat that once more. What? The trial of the ring. You, If you have a ring, you pass automatically. What does he mean, if I have a ring? Okay. The trial of the swift. The three drawn cards must include a card with the sprinter sigil. But I don't have that. Okay. The trial of rarity. The three drawn cards must include a rare card. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't know. What do you mean by the ring? I don't understand that. Okay, rare card, a swift card, or a ring? Try the rings. I'm just curious on what this does. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with a rare card. No, wait, should I go with a swift card? Swift or rare? Rare. No, wait, yeah, rare. I'm gonna go with a rare. Shall the rarity begin? Did I help? Hmm, not a single rare card. Wait. Wait, with the chances. Failure. Um. Oh. Okay. Do I still get the chance to have a second go? Hello. Managed to get a boon. Nice. This way, this may be a fair competition. So I only got one boon. I could have the chance to get a second one, but I didn't. Okay. Alright then, let's get into the cabin. Huh? Oh god. Why is it so dark? 
I can't turn around. <gasps> oh, you took your time out there. And I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? No. Why? I hope you are adequately prepared. Oh, it's a boss. Perhaps one more to be safe. What? You get three? Okay, yeah, I always say start with two bones. Oh, wait, why? Okay, alright, time to focus. Why is he orbiting masks? This is so weird. Okay. Okay, good, I got the Mantis God. He's in the way. Oh wait, and he's got air defense. Oh, you cheek. Alright. Put that great white down. Alright, start with that. Alright, three health. Just put the Mantis got there then. Uh, yeah. Alright. Actually, no, I know what to do. Put that there. And then I can play the white, the great whites. Right there. Wait, wait. Oh, I'm stupid. Ugh. No, wait, I think I am stupid. I just realized I can't. I need three sacrifices. Oops. Um, okay. Pick the blood out then. He has the option to be anyone he wants. That's not fair. Right. Oh! Oh, it's giving me the option to have a second go. That's nice. Oh, wait. Oh, you mean pick a card? Okay. That's even better. Alright. Now let's play the wolf. Ah, you, your mantis god is weak. Infinite Squirrels is the clutch. Right, I got that. I got that. Yes. Right, two more to go. Okay, we'll enjoy the of the rare creatures. But the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of friendship, coloured by guilt. Okay, they were betraying you. That one fondly. These are my cards. Oh, these are the people that I played and then died. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's giving me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, oh, this is tricky. I can't do another sacrifice. I'm gonna put a card down. I also. These are really good squirrels with unkillable. It's also a really good defense because they can just get back by two hands if they die. Alright, I'm gonna play this. One more! One more! Oh, the music's gone off. This damned moon. What? It's dramatic, yes. But it provides no value to my board. I wonder. Now that is value? What is that? Wait, what? One damage. I can attack all mine in one go. Air defense. It's got air defense. What is that? Tidal lock. At the beginning of the owner's turn, a car bearing the sun will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. What? Okay, so this is the this is the thing that I need for the touch of death. Oh, I need a stink bug. I need a stink bug. Oh, not the mole man. Give me the stink bug. No, not you. Ah, I can't play now. And it's got 40 health. Okay. Okay. It's good, actually. The Mantis Skull doesn't get hurt, so that's... Good, I guess. Okay, wait, Adder. Oh, but I need a sacrifice. No, 
Ah, oh, yeah, I need to put you down. Wait, can I not play? Oh, I need to put another card, apparently. Um, okay. Okay, I'll put, put you down. You will get, you won't die, so it's fine. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, go. It's fine. Look at that. We almost got him to, well, over half a health. Okay, uh, now... Malcolm, yeah, you see, he's every species. I don't even think he's a, he's a, whatever he is, mammal. Is it mammal? I don't even really know what the head is. Squirrel, mammal, I don't know. Okay, um, how can I play to get rid of the stoats? I guess it's a river snapper. Yeah, yeah, because he has got no like health. Almost there. Boom! You really destroyed the moon. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Uh, go on. I'll be damned. Just, just pitch black. Oh my! Did I just... I think I just beat him! What? What? Who is you? Um... Who is this guy? Okay... Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny Transcend Dog! And here, I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. Ooh, what do we got here? Okay, and our first rare is a Birchkin. Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. All right, next pack. Feeling even better about this one. I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. I mean, they're so smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the, uh, the car nice. factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. You know, that's good. Some jank cards. Maybe a few additions to my draft cube. We'll see. And our rare for this pack is... Bandog! Not exactly <laughs> riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. Next pack, here we come! Oh. Just cut out this part. You sure? What? Who's calling you? What's happening? Am I gonna go through all of these? Hey there, card gamers! I'm the lucky card. I'm not really this is a vintage interested. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. I'm just gonna skip for the important part. <laughs> I don't really care about your cards. I just want to know what's happening. <laughs> what? Okay, what happened there? Where are you now? Alright, you guys. I'm out here. Living my best life. Got my trusty headlamp. And shovel. What? Always come prepared, kids. What? What? A bit of context here. Here we go. Yeah. Blowing something or digging up something? Okay. Whew. Getting close. I think. Assuming there is a thing to get close to. This very well may be a massive 
Waste of. Oh. Okay. That's. That's not useful at all. I'll go back and. Yeah, I, I'm not saying anything. Alright! That's why you always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Okay. Every time. You gotta come prepared. <sighs> Never mind, the battery just went out. Okay. That's all that happened. What is this? What is that? What? Alright. This is it. And now, we dig. For what? It's not digging, you're just planting the shovel. I give a 75% chance it's a rock. But, I didn't hear anything. Only one way to find out. No, no chance it's gonna be a rock. Sure. What the f is that? Oh my god, you guys, I can't believe it. There's actually something here. But, how did you know? Oh, wait, he got the coordinates on his phone. What? What the f <laughs> Guys, are you seeing this? Uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm a little confused. <laughs> That's all you came for. Why? What? He's running. Why is he running? What's going on? We well, haven't had a floppy disk drive anymore. Okay, 11 bucks. Oh, now he has to buy a, um, what's it, a card drive thing? Okay. So you can actually play the Fine. game? Manually? Wow, great video! <laughs> you could just go onto Steam and find it. No, it's not, it's Epic Games. You could just go onto Epic Games and find it. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. This is the last video. Finding out what it is. Don't make it crap. Oh. Oh. That's weird. We're playing inscription and inscription is being played in, in inscription. This is This is too much. Oh, that's it. That's all the videos. Um, yep, there's nothing else I can do. I, oh, I do not celebrate often. I seldom give gifts. Okay, but you, Challenger, you are worthy. Please do not be polite. Dig in. What is that? Is there something wrong? Yeah, that's a mud cake. What your prize awaits. What? But that's it? That's all I get? Very well. After all that, I get a mud cake. Come with me. Oh. Stand right there. Oh! Why am I back in here? Who are you? Okay. I'm gonna leave it at that for now. This is interesting. This is this game is more than I have thought. I don't know what this game is. I thought this was a simple card game, but apparently there's more to it. So yeah, I'm gonna stop for now because I've run out of time. I think we're getting close to the end. And I think this is like a really good I think I hope actually that this is a save point, so I won't ever go back to the beginning if I 
die again or somehow will. But yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. So this series won't be ending. And I'm not losing my mind over this constantly dying thing that's going on in this game. I just, I thought I would actually never beat this game because I suck. I really thought I would never win because I suck. We're here. I think this is nearly halfway through the game. I don't know, but we're there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please do like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave the notifications on. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Ciao for now.